Hello traders and welcome to Admiral Markets and Forex 3 joint webinar today. My name is Nenad and we are going to talk about exotic chart patterns. So this is our first session using the live webinar. So if anything is not right, let's say the sound or the lightning, well, feel free to inform me. So first of all, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Nenad, I work for Admiral Markets. I'm a senior analyst, I'm also a full-time trader, managing a lot of trades outside of uh, Forex Factory also. And uh, probably you have been following me on AdmiralMarkets.com and uh, Forex Street. So this is the webinar, first webinar in 2016. I have chosen exotic chart patterns. And this is what you should know in order to follow charts completely. Before I begin, uh, our standard is disclaimer explaining that online education materials are developed by Admiral Markets Estonia for a global audience. So take into consideration the information this session is not suitable for everyone. If, we, if you want to get a corresponding information on charting conditions and any other detail, you should visit Admiral Markets Global, select your country of residence and contact an appropriate entity. Risk disclosure statement stating all possible risks associated with Forex market by accepting the risk you're also proceeding further with me. And final part explaining that Arnold Markets takes no responsibility for remuneration accuracy. This is solely my opinion and in no way it represents the actual suggestion for the trade. So this webinar is for informational and educational purposes only. Okay, so with having said that, we are actually ready to proceed with the webinar. Uh, one more addition, uh, you can download Admiral Market Supreme Edition, it will greatly enhance your trading. You can do that by logging into your trader's room. And one more addition is a web trader, which is a feature of Admiral Markets, a very good program which will enable you to trade actually without having a strong PC or if you're not close to your trading station. Uh, by going to this link, you can uh, join into a web trader. And of course, Admiral Markets is the official best MT4 broker for 2015 by officially UK votes. So today's we, today we will cover exotic chart patterns, exotic candlestick patterns, and again, exotic chart patterns with special patterns, which I usually, usually uh, teach. Uh, very important thing is to know what are chart patterns actually. Uh, chart patterns are actually uh, reflections of price action in a given time. So if you see that the price action is actually uh, making some uh, patterns, you can imagine that it draws some lines. And by doing that, basically, uh, a price action is making so-called chart patterns. So it's not a rocket science, but I'm very aware that a lot of traders can distinguish between uh, standard chart patterns and actually uh, chart patterns which are not that common. So they can be mistaken. Uh, chart patterns represent a pattern which is formed within a chart when prices are graphed. It's the standard tool of technical analysis. So by using, by using chart patterns, you're actually using also a technical analysis. A uh, very important thing is to say that uh, they're either a reversal or continuation signal. So uh, a reversal signal usually happens if the price is going in a one way and then starts dropping in another way. Uh, it can be up and down and also it can be first down then up. So it can be both a reversal or continuation signal. If it's a continuation signal, then uh, the pattern will usually, usually follow with a retracement like this, if it goes up or if it goes down, if it, it, it will make a zigzag. I occasionally use zigzag when I explain technical analysis on the chart because a uh, zigzag is something which, which is formed only during a trend. So when you see that pattern is going up, down, up, down, you know that that's a zigzag in a trend, a loss of momentum, standard retracement. And when something is going down and up, down and up, that's actually a zigzag in bearish trend. And the price is actually making the retracements in bearish trend. So chart patterns can be either a reversal or a continuation signal. Okay, That is very, very important to say. 
uh, they can be used to project price action and to react subsequently. Because guys, uh, if you're not an analyst, actually, uh, if you're not an analyst, you can be mistaken with, with reaction and prediction. Uh, uh, for example, me being uh, an analyst and trader, I can both make a prediction and react. But if you're just a trader, if you're not an analyst, then maybe it's easier for you and it's much better for you to actually react. So that is what we must uh, make a line. Okay, we, we need to draw a line between uh, reacting and predicting. Prediction is a job of an analyst. A reaction is a job of a trader. So if you are both, then you, you know what I'm, what I'm speaking about. But if you're just a trader, then try to be focused on reaction. So try to charge something, don't predict a lot of things, and react if, if a trigger entry or trigger signal actually happens. Uh, now, standard and exotic patterns are also one part of the analysis uh, we use for actually technically uh, technical analysis when we when we try to choose the right pair uh, you will occasionally find in my analysis uh, a lot of examples of uh, both standard and exotic patterns uh, the primary thing is because standard and exotic patterns are the part of the confluence uh, how I teach traders to actually trade and chart is maybe it's a not a very I can say common way because uh, one of, of the things I occasionally do is showing up a confluence. Confluence is very, very important part of the analysis because confluence will give you a better entry, confluence will give you a more secure entry, and definitely it will safeguard your trade for potential mistakes. That is why we don't use only one indicator or let's say just just a combination of indicators but we actually want to use a confluence that is why that is why i always use poc which is actually a point of confluence and both standard and exotic patterns are actually the part of the confluence which can be seen uh, in on any chart okay uh, now the the thing is they they will appear naturally okay Triangles and flags appear during indecision, accumulation or distribution, excluding flat top and bottom ascending and descending triangles. This is very important for you to know because triangles and flags will appear during indecision. Okay, uh, if, we, if we, for example, take a pen and let's, let's try to draw a, a, a triangle. Okay, so this is a triangle, right? Okay, at least it represents a triangle. This is not a very precise tool for drawing. But actually, this is my point. This is indecision, and the price is going usually sideways. During trend, we expect a breakout in the trend direction. So if we, if we had a downtrend and price is made a triangle, uh, we will try to, of course, trade a triangle in south direction. Now, when you see a triangle, you will know that the actual price is going sideways. So it's in indecision phase. And you cannot trade during the indecision. You need to predict and you need to react. By actually predicting where the price will go on the previous price action and historical um, features, you can actually react when, uh, when a trigger happens. That means, for example, if you analyze the chart like this, there is a downtrend, there is a triangle. Now, my reaction will be selling the pair uh, three or five pips at the break of the triangle. Of course, we will use multiple time frame analysis because you trigger uh, your entry on lower time frame and you actually make your analysis on higher time frames. That is very important because if you do multiple time frame analysis, you will align both trend and both momentum. Okay, so uh, when you see a triangle, you will know that there is actually an indecision phase. Also, accumulation and distribution phase will happen shortly after it, and the thing is, it will definitely reflect traders' decision because market movers are actually banks, commercial banks companies, international trades, pension funds, hedge funds, 
you retail trader are just a part of the movement and don't forget you always want to follow the big fish you don't want to follow retail herd you want to follow big fish right so you want to be as close as you can be to market movers which are at the top of the food chain in forex market so those are the banks you want to trade like institutions do okay so this is the example of chart patterns schematics and you can see here we have a lot of representation of chart patterns and actually uh, i won't be mentioning uh, this because you probably know head and shoulders rectangles channels flags pennant symmetrical triangles ascending descending triangles wedge continuation wedge reversal double top double bottom triple top we all know that we have already covered that in the past right and probably during uh, other webinars you have heard about head and shoulders inverted head and shoulders those standard chart patterns so i'm just i will be just mentioning this for example for 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 this occasion just to be sure that you know it but actually uh, we want to to uh, to focus on those exotic chart patterns which are not so uh, common but they can appear also as i said they can appear naturally on the chart so you actually want to trade those uncommon patterns because it will give you the edge you won't be confused when you see the pattern you will actually know what to do right okay uh, now we will start with non-standard or special pattern here on the screen you can see it's, it's called hook reversal top so this is the pattern which will always appear in uptrend and it will signal us and then an end of uh, the end of uptrend and a possible reversal now uh, let me explain you how uh how it's actually uh, how you can actually trade it but the thing is that uh, it's not very hard to trade you actually want to follow uh uptrend like this okay and when you see that the price is actually unable to make a new high okay you might start okay guys this is now consolidation now there is a possible reversal by hook by a hook so this is it okay you have uptrend you have sideways movement and there is a hook here here there is a hook okay now let me clear this pointer and look at this now the price actually made a lower high so if this was a high here okay we have now a low a lower a low so actually this is a higher low compared to this but this is a lower low here so we have a higher low and here this candle actually is a lower high which is followed by a lower low here okay so this is high this is low this is lower high this is lower low here and then you can say okay this is indeed a reversal but how far it can go it's very easy actually to find out where the price will go because guys i've already taught you how to place a fibonacci now think about this this is very logical let's say that this is here this is the start of up move this is the end of up move you just place your fibonacci here from the bottom to the top from the past to the present meaning from left to right always from left to right never from right to left because past and present will give you the future okay past and present will give you the future okay from the bottom to the top and then you actually go by retracements if you want to trade hook reversal tops you will actually take an entry here around this region here which can be a retest also okay and actually go with fibonacci retracements which are put as the price is in still in down in uptrend and you will take profit actually on these fibonacci retracement levels 
Okay, so I think this is actually this is actually very very uh, easy for you to understand. And uh, of course, if you have, uh, I'm watching questions on my uh, second monitor. So if you have any questions, of course, feel free to ask me. Okay. Okay. So uh, this is it about non-standard special patterns. Uh, here you can see hook reversal bottom. Okay, so actually this is a little bit different from hook reversal from in the uptrend. Uh, the only difference is actually that the price is going down. Okay, it makes a hook here at the bottom. Okay, and then it starts to go up. Okay, this is very important. The price is going down. Okay then it makes a bottom and it starts going up okay now why this is very important it's important guys because in in this occasion you can actually trade it as the price is in retracement place a fibonacci from the top to the bottom okay from the top to the bottom from left to right and actually this is your let's say this is your high here this is a low now look at this the price has made a higher high here and this is actually a higher low here right so around this region you can place your entry and go with fibonacci retracements it's, it's the same as the price is in uptrend just place the fibonacci accordingly so it's hook reversal bottom cup with handle actually is also a very very uh common pattern and some people call it cup and handle uh, my call it cup and handle some people call it cup with handle actually this is it right so when you see that the price is going down and it makes a u-turn actually going up you will see that the price has made a cup with handle here and then when price makes a pattern you wait for a breakout and retest okay breakout and retest which is very very important when you actually uh, when you actually uh, trade this pattern so there is always uh, a retest okay like this price has broken through resistance here makes a retest and continuation here is your continuation signal okay so again mark the handle like this double top it doesn't need to be that precise okay it doesn't need to be that precise and then after this you actually wait for a retest this is breakout this is a retest here this is continuation so actually this is breakout pullback continuation you have uh, you already know how to trade with with breakout pullbacks and continuation and if you if you're not sure what it is okay you just you can ask me here i will answer questions of course but the thing is that you actually want to trade either a breakout retest or a breakout retest continuation be aware that if you do that your the chance that you actually lose your trade will diminish because cup with handle has a good success ratio especially if it's done on higher time frames and how i do it usually i usually when I spot this on one hour or four hour, I zoom in uh, onto four times lower time frame. So if it's on four hour, I will open my one hour chart and look for breakout retest continuation. If I spot it on one hour, I will use 15 minute time frame to actually enter the market. Okay. So you want to see a breakout retest, clear signal here, guys. This is like a pin. See, this is a pin and wait for either a pattern like a pin or a continuation signal like the breakout of previous breakout point okay so if this was a breakout this was a retest two or three pips above this is continuation 
So you may, you may either take a trade on a retest or, or a, on a continuation signal. It's not that hard. It's actually very easy and very, very straightforward. Uh, Adam and Adam is also one of my favorite patterns. You, you can read my latest analysis on, uh, I think it, it, uh, it was spotted some days ago on um, Australian dollar, I think, or it was uh, other pair, but it was actually Adam and Adam. And I know it's a bit of a strange name here, but actually the thing is that when it shows up, it looks similarly to uh, W, right? W pattern, like this, okay? The only difference is, uh, in my opinion, how I see it, it's actually very easy uh, to trade it and it's actually stronger than W. Because, guys, we already covered uh, historical buyers and sellers in previous webinars. So, as you know, I always say, uh, weeks are more important than bodies in price action analysis. And these weeks actually signal buyers, guys. So these weeks are actually buyers here, okay? These are actually buyers. The thing is, when you see buyers here, you will definitely know that uh, historical price action will probably repeat again. You just zoom to the left of your charts, flip your charts to the left, and you will see that probably somewhere in the past there was also buying here from this zone okay so this zone is very very important and actually probably in the past there was a strong buying here okay and you want to see that this zone actually provides uh, now moment buyers compared to historical buyers when you see this you will know that this is actually adam and adam and it signals a continuation how you trade it is actually you take a breakout from this part here, okay? So this was your zone. You know that there are buyers here, strong weeks, buying weeks, definitely buyers. We don't need stochastics. We don't need any indicator. This is enough for me and for you to tell you actually that there are buyers here. The price probably will reverse. Here at the breakout of this point, you, your entry is initiated, okay? This is your entry below these levels is your stop loss okay now someone might ask what is a usual stop loss i would say usual stop loss is let's say five to ten pips below the level depending on on the time frame but usually 10 pips will be enough of course include the spreads if any your entries here two or three pips above point two and actually this is confirmation as always it's always better to, to spot this pattern on uh, higher time frames because higher time frames are uh, stronger than lower time frames. For intraday, intraweek swings, we use four hour and one hour. And for cherry picking the entries, draw a line on higher time frame, zoom into lower time frame, and then actually put a trade accordingly. So, okay, so this is Adam and Adam. As I say, I usually, usually use this. Uh, as as continuation signal okay this is usually continuation signal for me okay this is not uh, this is not a just one way pattern so I don't trade this uh, actually when I see it I don't trade this alone I want other confluence points but sometimes I can uh, testify that these patterns are good to be traded alone by themselves so it's actually a good thing to try to trade uh, these patterns alone, okay, like I, I have shown you. Open up one hour or four hour, try to spot a pattern. When you see the pattern, draw a line, okay, point two is very important, okay, because this is point one, this is point two, this is point three, point one and three are double bottoms, point two is your breakout point. Zoom into lower time frames, usually four times lower your initial time frame of choice. Four hour, one hour, one hour, 15 minutes, okay? Then wait for a confirmation signal. Confirmation signal is usually when price is actually, when price actually breaks this uh, high, 0.2 by two or three pips. This is your continuation signal. And you want your continuation signal to actually be in line with these historical bars, okay? So continuation signal will happen shortly afterwards. 
A semi scallop, another pattern which is actually a continuation uh, signal, and it's actually signaling that uh, uptrend is about to continue. Okay, it's very important to distinguish between a semi scallop and uh, usually a cup with hand. Okay, because a semi scallop is something which uh, can happen only when there is uh, a strong uptrend. Okay, impending strong uptrend. So actually, this is how it looks like. Let me see if I have any questions. Okay, I don't see any questions here. Okay, so all is clear. Okay. So atom and atom, we already explained now a semi scallop. Price is making a J-shaped letter. Okay, J-shaped letter like this and actually when you see this you wait you pull up your fibonacci from the bottom to the top like this okay and usually your entry will respond to a fibonacci okay to fibonacci usually it will respond to fibonacci okay so this is a semi scallop you can see it here you place your fibonacci from the bottom here okay to the top Okay, from the bottom to the top. And here, you will see probably this is a Fibonacci number. A chart pattern, like this candlestick pattern, which is a hammer, bouncing off from Fibonacci is usually enough signal for you to take a trade. As I say, I usually take a confluence here, usually take a confluence. And uh, if this is a part of my confluence, I would gladly trade it alone like i said confluence point let's say a pivot point here it can be a pivot point daily monthly doesn't matter pivot point here the price makes j-shaped letter put a fibonacci from the bottom to the top wait for the price to reject from fibonacci level usually it will be rejected as a candlestick pattern okay and then enter your trade not necessarily this can this can uh this can mean that uh price actually is trying to make another ascending scalp like this j j j okay this is scalp and uh, usually the targets are a bit higher from the first original breakout of j top so this is j top or ascending scalp top when it breaks you usually measure the distance between the between the bottom and the top and add it to actual 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 bouncing spot okay so that's it it's it's very very easy you just need to actually uh be uh, familiar with this okay just familiar with this uh okay sorry for this this is my phone actually i will move this here now okay i don't know why it's showing up uh, this is one of patterns I like to see, and it's called actually uh, it's actually a triangle. But this is actually a running triangle, and it's very good to spot a running triangle because uh, when you see a running triangle, you can expect a early an early breakout of the triangle. So you can see there is a bull and bear market. Price will usually make. A, higher highs and higher lows in bull market and lower highs and low lows in bearish market now you go with a trend usually if the bull market is in question price will jump up okay here usually it will uh, retest an imaginary vortex here and proceed further same for bear market the only difference between a complete triangle and a running triangle is actually the uh, running triangle has no vortex it, it does not have any vortex that is important for you to see there is no vortex uh, you see the vortex of the triangle is this a running triangle will not show this so actually it's a triangle in progress and if it happens just pay attention to potential breakout point if it's in a bull market you will spot a b c d e a b is actually a low and high c is high low d is a lower high but actually price is trying to break it because it's a consolidation 
right? There, the, this is no zigzag. Higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. It's actually a uh, consolidation. So you want to see ABCD like this and potential breakout to the upside. Same for bearish market. A, B, C, D, E. A is high, B is low, C is low, high, D is high, low. Consolidation to the downside, okay, like this. And you can expect a breakout to the downside, okay? So this is also very important for you to see, okay? Now, uh, we also have, this is an example of a running triangle, okay? You can see the price section here. And actually, the price has made a breakout. Important to say is you actually want to trade breakouts with this, okay? So actually, these are breakout trades. Not necessarily very, very convenient to trade, but if you are uh, in a mood for hit and run tactics, you can do that. It's, it's usually good if you scalp a few pips here and there and you actually want to take some fast breakout trades, okay? A diving board. This is a diving board, or some people call it a V-shaped reversal. Okay, uh, it's called V-shaped reversal because uh, the actual pattern here is in the shape of a V letter. Okay, V English letter like this. You will see a huge downtrend, then you will see a consolidation and a big drop. This this drop will be followed by a huge rally. That rally will have a V-shaped letter usually. Uh, near the top of consolidation period so if this is consolidation period here consolidation zone better to say consolidation zone okay this is actually v-shaped result the price will reverse it will come to the zone and you know that potentially this is inverted head and shoulders but preceded by a v-shaped reversal what you want actually stay out. I never trade V-shaped reversal. I usually use it only as a confluence point. Okay, this is only a confluence point for me in my analysis to actually uh, try to actually try to predict how the price will react. Okay, I want to predict how the price will react. And when I see this, I usually will say either there could be a rejection from these levels to the downside or a continuation to the upside, depending on the present price action. Because we are looking in the past when we are watching this pattern. We want to predict the future. The biggest advantage in Forex market is actually historical price action. I don't know how many people pay attention to historical price versus now moment price action, but actually this is one of the most important aspects of price action trading. Forex market is better for trade to trade than stock market simply because historical price action will always repeat in now moment. Okay, so this is it. This is actually it. Price is making a V shaped reversal. We are watching the past. Now we watch at the present. And we want to see actually where the price will head to. And if I see this, I would presume that the price will go to the upside. Because after this reshaped reversal, there was no a breakout to the downside. So we actually want to analyze this from technical perspective, like technical analysis. Rooftop, similar to uh, hook, but the thing is you will see uh, this shape at the top. So this is a rooftop. I think a month ago, I, I showed analysis with, with the rooftop and uh, Actually, when you see a rooftop, you actually uh, presume that the price will go down. Okay, the price will usually go down because the price is followed by uptrend. It makes a very distinctive roof. You can easily spot the roof by doing this. Connect both, let's say, bottoms here and connect it with the top like this something like this you will see that this is actually a rooftop but you need to have a at least a very close representation of a double bottom on your chart so if this is the first bottom this is the high this is the second bottom draw a line and analyze it. this will probably probably this will be a rooftop so you want to actually again i don't trade this 
but this will give me a cue that the price will go down and i actually might do a retest trade if the price goes here you see this is a retest here and i might enter a trade but i need to assess other technical things but usually when i see this i would presume that the price will head to a new downtrend okay this can be easily seen as a retracement because you already know i i was teaching you a couple of times i was showing you a couple of times how you can distinguish between actual retracement and actual reversal so unless this bottom here is broken this is retracement so if you take a trade here treat it as retracement draw fibonacci from this bottom to this top okay and then go with fibonacci levels because it's still uptrend but this might be a retracement like this but this is a good sign of impending retracement and a possible reversal okay so that is very important okay now we covered most important most important uh, exotic chart patterns of course we have uh five more minutes i will show you uh also my special patterns here so you can take advantage of it two are special patterns one is my proprietary pattern and actually the second one is also non-standard pattern but you can make a good use of it so we also see here inverted top so it's basically same as a rooftop it's called t89 or tail 89 and consolidation breakout reversal or cbr some people thought uh, <laughs> Thought it actually T89 is like tarantula 89. I always say I'm modest, so I never name any parents uh, in my in my own name or nickname. Actually, this is this stands for tail 89. Uh, this is one of parents I, I really like because 89 pattern is connected to 88.6 Fibonacci ratio. It's actually EMA 89 with a pin bar not a rocket science but a thing which i have noticed to have a lot of lot of uh good uh, i can say potential trades if you even trade it alone by itself very good potential uh, potential setup with t89 okay very simple that is why i will use only one slide okay mm. very very simple this is actually a tail here we have two tails and we have rejections from EMA 89. Okay, rejections from EMA 89. Uh, when we see this, we know that 60-70% of the time price will actually follow this by another bounce. Okay, here T89. So it's actually EMA 89 with pin bars, and we call it T89. So it's very important for you to know that this is actually a pattern which can give you a signal by itself. These are buyers here. Very important to see buyers here. Okay. And actually, you want to go long. Or well, this is same for shorts. If you see a pin bar rejections below 89, but you need to have a strong pin like this, you will know that the price will go down. Okay, so these are T89 patterns. Very good. Try to spot it. CBR, okay, it's actually a reversal pattern. We have a continuation signal here. Okay, see, we have a continuation signal here. Usually, th this continuation signal is followed by reversal. Look at this. And you might, you might say, okay, this is actually double bottom here. This is a breakout. But actually, what happens is reversal. So this is CBR, continuation breakout reversal. The biggest thing with this pattern, you don't, I particularly, you can trade it. You can trade it after this candle, okay? Because you might presume that it's actually CBR pattern. But what I do is actually, I want the price to wait for another high like this. And I will know that 90, 80% of the time, price will continue going up. So I want, to have a better price to buy it right so as always in trend trading we want to see 
we want to see retracement because you want to have a better price when you buy when you're buying it's the same when you're buying a car if you want to buy a car let's say that you want to buy a new car you will always try to go when there is a, a better price for your car right the guarantees are the same you will have your insurance everything is the same but one seller gives you a higher price another seller will give you a lower price same with trading same with the price okay so here you enter here because this usually will correspond to fibonacci number okay so this is cbr how i do it as i say i can wait for a breakout of this to actually go with a with a, an early entry but much better is to put a fibonacci from this bottom to this top and usually this will correspond to fibonacci number here you wait for a signal like this so cbr don't be fooled when you see this okay this is actually a false breakout of this double bottom okay, so here strong buyers you can either take an entry here wait for a confluence here bearish breakaway on another pattern which is commonly seen and actually this is this is one of my uh, i might say uh, patterns which i don't like to see they're not favorite because usually they can kill my uh, trade or setup because bearish breakaway is five candle configuration the first thing you will notice that the price is actually going high high and high so the color of the first white candle represents the current uptrend this is uptrend the second candle is white okay it can be followed by a gap the third and the fourth candles continue the trend direction like this and the fifth candle is a black one that closes inside the gap that is formed between the first two candles like this okay what happens is a complete reversal okay like this so it's called bearish breakaway and it happened actually i think this was a new year uh one or two years ago this happened and you can actually count the price what what happened with the price you can see it here this is a scholastic example of bearish breakaway bullish squeeze another non-standard pattern but it's actually uh very very uh very very uh good pattern to trade okay guys i can see some questions but okay we can talk about this later so bullish squeeze is actually three candles in configuration a black candlestick appears on the first candle the second and the third candles each have lower highs and hard lows than the previous candle like this but their color is not important this is important it's actually a squeeze like this when you see this you might assume that actually there will be continuation to the upside it's called a bullish squeeze okay bullish squeeze okay very easy and the last one is yeah basically not the last one but the last one which i don't like and i never traded it's actually called a megaphone so this is a megaphone pattern some call it a broadening top i call it a megaphone because this pattern is in my opinion i never traded this is non-tradable because price will make a higher high and it will make a lower low so this is not a very tradable actually if you see this pattern is it's better to stay away from it because the pattern will usually make unusual moves like this okay and it's actually very hard to trade it okay i don't like it it's, it's like a megaphone the prerequisite for a megaphone pattern is actually you need to have at least two peaks or two valleys which should touch trend lines at least two valleys or two peaks which should which should uh, touch trend lines like this okay and when it happens you will probably know that it's a uh, it's a uh, no trade for you you don't trade it okay this is at least how i do i don't trade this and the last is what what i will show you is a dead cat bounce and actually a dead cat bounce is as the slide is saying is a temporary recovery from a prolonged decline or bear market followed by a continuation of the downtrend okay it's a continuation pattern where the bounce may appear to be reversal of prevailing trend but it's quickly followed by a continuation on downward price move it's called dead, dead cat bounce you probably have heard of it and this is how it looks okay as we say we have a decline 
then uh, uh, you, you might think that this is a reversal, but it's not. The price will continue going down, okay, like this. A big downtrend here, look at this. Then probably this is a V-shaped reversal, look at this. This is actually inverted head and shoulders here. You might say, okay, this is uh, another bull trend, okay, because especially you might be fooled when the price breaks this top here. You might say, okay, this will continue to go down. This is reversal. No, this is dead cat bounce. A dead cat bounce, I don't read it. I just watch it. Because the first signal is actually, if you want to take any trade, is you might trade next bearish pattern. This is M, like this. This is M, okay? And you can take a short trade here. You see here, it was a breakout retest and from this part it was continuation so the only thing you might say this is a dead cat bounce is actually after the fact okay one reason i don't like to mention dead cat bounce and these things is because i always do pre-fact analysis i that the analysis is not valid if it's made after the fact at least it's okay you can make some few assumptions but traders prefer to see pre-fact analysis one of the reasons i might say okay this was a dead cat bounce and you should have put your trade here but it already happened right so dead cat bounces i don't usually use it in my analysis because it's always after the fact okay okay guys i hope that you actually enjoyed the webinar and uh, um, alex is uh, saying it's actually triangle in lower time frame uh, alex uh, which one I'm not sure which slide you're referring to. If you refer to a rooftop, uh, inverted rooftop, it might look like a, like a triangle in downtrend, but it's actually also a signal for reversal. If you're referring to actually a, a inverted rooftop, okay? So this is it, guys. We are already, uh, we are basically at the end of our webinar. I hope that you enjoyed it. <laughs> Alex is saying it's actually trying in a lower time frame. I don't remember, sorry. No worries, Alex. So this webinar is recorded. Of course, this is live. You can watch it uh, many times as you like. Feel free to ask any questions if you want, of course. I will be answering it as the time allows me, of course. And uh, when you spot next time uh, an exotic pattern like this, don't be afraid to use it to use it as a part of the confluence, okay? Everything is simple as long as we keep it simple, right? So thank you guys, okay? Thank you guys for uh, listening to me. I will be here with you soon. I wish you to trade safe. Cheers as always.